From crazy machines that smash particles and investigate the law of physics to the biggest ship currently sailing the seas, here are 10 of the most massive machines that currently exist. Number 10. The Symphony of the Seas Starting off among the giants is the biggest vessel currently floating on the water. And of course, it's a cruise ship. The biggest machine currently out in the ocean is a cruise ship named the Symphony of the Seas, and it is ridiculously large. It's basically a floating city. Imagine if the world flooded and we were all forced to live on boats. This would be the mothership. It first set sail from Barcelona in March of 2018. And if you want some scale to understand how large this miracle of engineering is, the boat is about five times the size of the Titanic. It's approximately 1,187 feet, 360 meters long. Long, meaning that if you balanced the boat on its stern, it would tower over every building in Europe except for two of the tallest skyscrapers. This boat is owned and operated by the Royal Caribbean. It can carry at least 9,000 passengers, and according to Wired, on the boat you'll find 40 restaurants and bars, 23 pools, massive theaters, an ice rink, a surf simulator, a golf course, and so much more. It is the pinnacle of ocean luxury, and if we're ever to live in floating cities, this will be the model for the rest of them. Number 9. The Large Hadron Collider The Large Hadron Collider is an enormous particle accelerator, which is used to push protons or other atomic particles to almost the speed of light. It's one of the biggest machines in the world currently in use. It contains a 16-mile, 25-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets with all kinds of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles while they fly along the ring. It's the most powerful particle accelerator ever created, and it's currently sitting in a tunnel 300 feet, 90 meters beneath the ground at the European Organization for Nuclear Research near Geneva, Switzerland. And while everyone has heard of this machine, not a lot of people know why it's called the Large Hadron Collider. But I'm going to tell you now. Large is obviously because of its size. The machine is ridiculously huge. Hadron is because it accelerates protons or neutrons, and these belong to a group of particles known as hadrons. And collider because the particles actually form two beams which travel in opposite directions and are made to collide at four different points around the machine. So it's the Large Hadron Collider. How it works is a little more complicated, with powerful magnetic fields that accelerate the particles around and around, simulating the conditions of matter at the very start of our universe, immediately after the Big Bang. Basically, scientists are using it to uncover the mysteries of the universe. What do you think of the Large Hadron Collider? Some people suspect it may be too powerful for humans to manage. There has been concern that it could inadvertently create a tiny black hole that would then absorb the entire planet in the blink of an eye. Let me know what you think of the dangers and excitement of this machine in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe if you haven't already. There are always incredible videos coming out right here, and you won't want to miss the ones in store. Number 8. Big Bertha If you ever want to dig an enormous tunnel, you're going to need a tunnel boring machine. And this is where Big Bertha comes in. It's an enormous tunnel boring machine, approximately 57.5 feet in diameter. It was built specifically for the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Tunnel Project in Seattle. But its origins are a little more surprising. It was actually designed and constructed in Japan. The assembly of the giant tunnel digger was completed in 2013, and it began work immediately. It's the largest boring machine ever made. It's about 326 feet, 100 meters long, 6,700 tons, and it cost $80 million to build. But digging a giant hole is easier said than done, even with an extremely expensive piece of equipment. The machine was originally supposed to complete the tunnel by 2015, but within just six months, work was halted because of an unexpected impediment. Workers actually had to dig a recovery pit from the surface down to get the cutter head off Bertha for repairs. Bertha then sat in the ground for two years waiting to be fixed. It's reported that the two years Bertha sat in the ground waiting to be repaired cost the project roughly $223 million. That's about three times more than the machine itself. Time is money, as they say. Number 7. The Komatsu Superdozer The Komatsu Superdozer is the largest production bulldozer in the world. And surprisingly, it's not even new. This thing has been in production since 1991. It weighs over 336,000 pounds. As the name would suggest, it's built by the Komatsu Company, and it's used mostly in mining operations to move material and keep businesses running smoothly. With a big and powerful blade on it, this enormous dozer can push roughly 125 cubic yards, 95 cubic meters of material. This is hard to imagine for anyone, but it's basically a giant wall of dirt. 
Because of the huge size of the dozer, when it needs to be moved, it actually gets taken apart and moved in around 8 tractor trailer loads. You can't just drive this thing down the street, it's way too big. And even though the super dozer went to production in 1991, there have indeed been upgrades and advancements in technology. Most significantly, the power levels have risen and operator comfort has been revolutionized. I mean, it can't be easy operating the largest bulldozer in the world, but at least you get a comfy office to work in. The Komatsu Superdozer has a 12-cylinder turbo diesel engine. The machine stands at about 16 feet tall, 5 meters, and 38 feet long, 11 meters. But because of its advanced track system, this huge machine is only pressing on the ground with somewhere around 23 pounds of pressure per square inch. It's so heavy that without tracks, the dozer would probably just sink through the ground and get bogged down with no way to move. The engineering that went into building this thing is insane. Number 6. The International Space Station We have the biggest boat and the biggest bulldozer, but what about the biggest technological marvel currently being used in outer space? Of course, I'm talking about the International Space Station. This is definitely mankind's shining achievement out above our own planet. Let's break down some of the coolest facts about the International Space Station that you might not know. All of these are checked and confirmed by NASA. First of all, the station has been continuously occupied since November of 2000. The crew of six people live and work inside the station while it travels at about 5 miles, 8 kilometers per second, orbiting our planet every 90 minutes. In fact, in 24 hours, the space station orbits Earth 16 times and travels through 16 sunrises and sunsets. The record for living the longest in this space station was set by Peggy Whitson on September 2, 2017, after spending 665 days inside the station. The space station itself is massive. You can have eight spaceships connected to it at once. The solar array wingspan is about 240 feet, 70 meters, and from end to end, the space station is 357 feet, 110 meters. That's actually not that long. It's almost the exact same size as an American football field. But there are other impressive stats, like the 8 miles, 13 kilometers of wiring connecting the electrical systems throughout the space station, or the 350,000 sensors being constantly monitored to keep track of the station and the crew. The International Space Station might be the greatest technological accomplishment of all time. Number 5. The Antonov AN-225 Maria it's time to check out the largest plane in existence. The Antonov AN-225 Maria is the biggest operational plane in the world as of right now. According to CNN, this monster is powered by six turbofan engines and it has a wingspan that is nearly the length of a football field. This giant in the sky is able to carry more cargo than any other plane. It's been used as recently as 2020 to help with the COVID-19 relief effort, with transporting loads of protective equipment between important locations. And while the airplane is definitely a modern hero, it actually comes to the U.S. from the Cold War. It was designed as part of the Soviet Union's space program. It all began when the first space shuttle launched from U.S. soil. The Soviets wanted one of their own. But the problem for them was getting their new spaceship from the manufacturing facilities in Moscow to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan where it was set to launch. Rather than building a new freeway, the Soviets actually built a giant airplane that was capable of shuttling the rocket from Moscow to Kazakhstan. This is how the Antonov AN-225 Maria was born. Number 4. Bagger 228 the Bagger 228 is one of the biggest land vehicles on Earth, and it's an absolute monster. It's taller than the Statue of Liberty, it's heavier than the Eiffel Tower, and it was built in Germany. These huge diggers work in open pit mines, using their revolving bucket wheels as continuously spinning shovels that can shift around 8.5 million cubic feet, 240,000 cubic meters, of dirt each and every day. And when it comes to scooping out coal, this amazing piece of equipment can harvest around 265,000 tons of fuel per day. And even though this machine is so big it doesn't look real, it's actually only crewed by between three and four people. If you want some more stats, each belt is around 10.5 feet wide, 3 meters, and big enough to carry a smart car. There are 8,600 square feet, 800 square meters of tread that carry the machine, which itself weighs 13,000 tons. However, these threads only carry the Bagger 228 at around 0.4 miles per hour, 1 kilometer per hour. This thing is not going to win any races. The machine also uses 5,600 feet, 1,800 meters of electrical cables, each one being about the diameter of a human arm, to feed electricity to the excavator. In any single second, the Bagger 228 actually uses enough electrical juice to power a city of around 20,000 people. And finally, you're probably wondering how big the machine is. Well, it's 71 feet tall, 22 meters. Each of its 18 buckets weigh 7,700 pounds, 
3,500 kilograms empty, and it took 88,000 pounds, 40,000 kilograms of paint to cover the entire structure. It also has 7,218 feet, 2,200 meters of steel suspension cables. Number 3. The Belaz 75710 Let's move on to the biggest dump truck ever. It's known as the Belaz 75710, and it's able to carry 450 tons in a single trip. It is an absolute behemoth, about as long as two double-decker buses and six times more powerful than a Formula One racing car. It also weighs more than a fully loaded Airbus A380 aircraft. If you stood next to the machine, you'd not even reach halfway up one of its tires. The tires alone are over 12 feet, 3.6 meters tall. This truck was only unveiled in 2013, but it's already gaining quite a bit of popularity for its huge size. It can haul about 87 tons more than the previous record holder. It has eight wheels, with each wheel able to support 102 tons, and it uses a diesel electric transmission system with two 16-cylinder diesel engines. Suffice it to say, this monster uses a whole lot of power to get around. It has a peak torque of 13,738 foot-pounds, 18,000 newton meters, which is around 24 times what your typical Formula One engine can output. And while you're probably imagining this to be a very hard vehicle to drive, it's actually not too bad. As reported by the BBC, the truck is all-wheel drive and it turns very nicely because both axles steer. It has a turning radius of 65 feet, 20 meters, which is not actually too bad at all. Also, the Belaz 75710 has a top speed of 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers an hour, and can travel at 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers an hour while climbing up a 10% gradient. Number 2. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 The Overburden Conveyor Bridge is a steel monstrosity with an implemented belt system that spans over an entire mining area to connect the extraction site with the side of the mine where the overburden is to be dropped. In simpler terms, this is a massive conveyor belt that stretches across an entire mining operation to bring material from one place to another. So yeah, it's a huge conveyor bridge. But when I say huge, I mean it's astronomical. It's gargantuan. This thing weighs over 13,500 tons. And because of its size and design, it's also referred to as the Horizontal Eiffel Tower. They do look a little similar, but the F-60 is actually longer than the Eiffel Tower. It stretches about 1,656 feet, 500 meters. In comparison, the Eiffel Tower is only 1,062 feet, 300 meters. Think about the conveyor belt at your local airport, but it's moving thousands of tons of dirt over a long distance all day, every day. Number 1. The Iron Giant The Iron Giant is one of America's greatest machines. It's a 50,000-ton forging press. For those who aren't sure what a forging press is, it's basically an enormous hammer that squishes a hot metal ingot. You might even think of it like a waffle iron for metal. It's how you can shape extremely complex structures from a very tough material without there being much waste. But what makes the Iron Giant, or 50 as the local workers call it, so much different from other forging presses is its size. It's an absolute beast of a machine. Each of its 14 major structural components weighs about 250 tons. Its eight steel bolt anchors are about 40 inches thick. 100 centimeters. And all in all, the machine weighs 16 million pounds, 7.25 million kilograms. Can you even imagine that weight? That is simply mind-boggling. When the eight main hydraulic cylinders kick into action, the machine delivers 50,000 tons of compressive force. That means the forge is pushing down with 50,000 tons of pure, unstoppable power. If you got squished by that, you wouldn't even know it. Whatever stands in its path is turned to dust. If you want a fun comparison, the Iron Giant press could literally bench press the famous battleship Iowa without breaking a sweat. It's the heaviest, most powerful machine in American history. Which of these huge machines would you like to operate? Tell me in the comments section and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to see all the latest videos.